Hi folks, welcome to my channel. Well, we've had loads of rain, so it should make it easier to dig and make a few signals pop out. And from the look of that sky, we're gonna get some more. So I'll see you on the first hole. First signal, 69, 62, 78, so it's a bit jumpy on the numbers. The XY screen is small one going from bottom left to top right, which is what you want. Let's just pinpoint. Right, yeah, not that hopeful, but let's have a look. Right, whatever it is, is in here. I think I can see uh, edge or something. What is that? A bit of rubbish. It's a little hem weight. Lead hem weight. Oh well. I found another crucifix. Ah, there's nothing on it, I don't think. Uh, there might be a bit of a pattern, I'm not sure. Uh, a silver one or a gold one, please, would be nice. Any idea what that is? It's like a hook there. Yeah, it's got a pattern on it, I think. Gave me a horrible scratchy low tick signal. Blank on the back. I'll clean it up, I'll show you a picture. Yeah, no idea. Right, that is a manky old thrippity bit. Right, that might be my last signal of this session. A very battered half penny. Rubbish. Uh, there's always one more one more signal in there. Uh, I think that might be off um, a uniform. Something Ram C. It's like being on countdown, isn't it? You've got to make a word out of that or figure out what word that's in. Mm, I don't know. I'll have a think about it. If I work it out, I'll put it up on the screen. Right, I'm back the next day. I've been here just under an hour and this is the first thing I've found that isn't complete cack. Uh, oh, it's a Napoleon. I thought it might just be a half penny, but it looks like a little Napoleon III. That was giving me like a 72 mid-tone. Might be why I left it before, it was a bit scratchy as well. I'll clean it up, I'll show you a picture. That's all right. Right, this was giving me a 91 in the hole, and then a 60, sort of scratchy mid-tone. It is only a button, but it's got some, it's got a shank on the back. It's got some patterning on it, so I'll clean it up, I'll show you a picture if I can find out what it is. Uh, I hope it gets a bit better than this. That is bad. I might change fields to do somewhere that I've done a bit less. Yeah. Okay, I've got my tripod out. Only means one thing, I've found something half decent. Because it's been a crap morning. This sounded all right, I can't remember the numbers, I'm really sorry. Not that it really matters. But this is what it sounds like. I just poked, it's, this ground is rock hard, as usual. Sounds nice now. It's a teeny weeny. Threepence, I think. Right, I'll spin you around, hang on. Here we are, your little beauty. Tiny. But yeah, I think that's the three pence. Right, let me get my water out. But there you go, that cheers you up, doesn't it? It's only a tiny little bit of silver, but I have been finding like nothing. So uh, I'm a bit happier. Let's see who this is, who the monarch is. Okay, brush. Right, that's 
that's the back side of it. There you go, number three. What's that say? Something 18. So it'd be 1918, I think. Little George V. out the bus I don't know if you can maybe you can but yeah awesome bit of silver and a bit of land well a bit of field I know I've done before but it wasn't a great signal so yeah keep digging those dodgy ones guys see you in a minute This was giving me a nice 92, something big in the hole there, and yeah, I think that's a battered penny, really battered. Uh, if I can get anything off that, I'll show you a picture, but that might have to go in the bin. All right. Now, this was a bit scratchy actually, but it's definitely a coin. It's a greenie by the looks of it. Half penny size. Battered, like most of them. Up on this ground for some reason. Uh, do you know what though? I'm not that bothered because I'm up on a bit of a hill there, here. And there's um, honest permission, which has been really good to me. Um, I've just noticed, because I'm on the hill, there's a massive field that I've never been able to get on because the grass is like waist length. But it looks like they've cut it. So I'm very excited. There's a couple of old footpaths that run through there. And if they've um, moved the grass as well, that's awesome. So I'm going to go and look at that in a minute. Yes. So it's been kind of cut. There's still a lot of grass lying around and still a lot of long grass. But I can get on a lot of it, which is the uh, right result. I've been eyeing this one up covetously for over a year now. Let's see if it's uh, any good or just massively disappointing. Right. Right, no, hugely disappointing. All the grass is like four inches thick on top of the floor, so unless they move it, you can't metal detect on here. Urgh! All right, this might be something. Uh, 95, 90, good solid signal all the way round, mm. tell a lie, oh, this might be a bit of crap, yeah it's worth a look though, hang on, a battered farthing, I think that's why it was giving me a bit of a funny signal, because of the bend in it, right, not brilliant is it, right here's another one, Give me 90. As you can see here, not a great signal, but I'm digging everything. Not not everything, but most things, because I've dug all the really good signals on here. Let's see what this is. Okay, so it weren't a silver, <laughs> but it was a coin. So I was right to give it a chance. I think it's another farthing in it right you've got to dig those dodgy ones because you never know right i wanted to show you this one it's kind of typical of the signal you get up here on full tones sounds okay no vdi actually oh well it's 99 so it's probably crap you move around the hole a little bit and it's and it's gone 
but just there, there's something. I think it'll be a bit of slag because that's what normally happens. But you never know, so I'm gonna have a quick look. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's crap. Thought it might be, but it's worth a look. Right, I am starting to despise starvings, but at least this one's an older one, it's a Victoria. Not my usual George V, George VI. Hey, it's not what I want, come on. I think this is just another farthing, but it looks a bit silvery there. I don't know if that's just where I've poked it with my knife, just getting it out. Right, I'm gonna give that a spray, hang on. Yeah, I think it's a farthing, and a silver wouldn't come up that terribly, uh, in that terrible condition. And I think I can make out that as RT there. I think it's just a farthing. It's weird though, it's got that silvery effect there, and a bit on the back as well. That is weird. Anyway, just prop this open, sounded like this. 89. Sort of mid-tone really, not, not really that high. Looks like a penny. Get it out. That is pretty much blank. That might be Britannia there. Uh, got a feeling it's a Vicky, but we might not ever know. Maybe it's Georgian. Yeah, not sure. Right, hi folks. Right, that's me done. So, not a great deal. Little silver. I like the shoulder title that I found. I like that sort of thing. Um, but I was talking to the landowner yesterday, he's a super nice lady, very funny as well. They are going to bale up the um, grass on that field, so that's never been detected before. So I should be able to get on there, weather dependent. And also, I was talking to this bloke, who I see quite a lot, and I've spoke to him before, and we've, we've had a chat about metal detecting, and he's into his history and stuff. And he said, oh, I know this, my mate, he's a farmer, and he's, he's got some land down there, I'll ask him. And I thought, nothing of it, I thought, well, nothing will come of that. I saw him again yesterday and he said, oh, I asked my mate and he said yes. So, I mean, getting permissions is really hard, but once you have one, you find that others follow and people sort of go, oh, he's, he's just looking for metal and crap. It'll be fine and he's tidying up after himself. He seems like a nice bloke. So just be polite to people, chat to people because you just never know what's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, I haven't found them much, but I have got a new, I have got a new permission. And those of you that metal detect know how hard that is to come by, so I'm very grateful and happy. Anyway, enough bibble babble from me. Um, oh, there's a heron over there. Anyway, yeah, I'll catch you later. If you're out, good luck.